Hi, it's me again, and there's another one. There's another one. Another petition to scrap the license fee. When will people learn? These petitions do nothing, as I will prove a little bit later on in the video. But let's have a look at this one first, because this could be the one that breaks through. Doubt it, though. Hey. Calls to scrap TV license fee before annual charge rises to more than £169 in April. There has been so many, so many of these petitions, it's crazy. And a couple of them, like if they get to 10,000 signatures, they get a response from the government, which is just a copy and paste, because they've responded to so many of these now, they don't have to write a fresh response, they just copy and paste them from the last one. If it gets to 100,000 signatures, it may be debated in Parliament. And that has happened. That has happened, as I will I will show you. So I'm sure regular viewers of the channels will have already seen that. But I'll show you in a minute. But let's have a look at this. More than 4,500 people have signed an online petition calling for the TV licence fee to be abolished for every household across the country and replaced with a subscription service for the BBC. That's... I don't see that one happening, but let's carry on. The e-petition created by Marie Davies argues the TV licence is more expensive than a lot of subscriptions and believes people should have the choice as to whether we pay to watch it. Yeah, it's a fair point. We should have the choice of whether we pay to watch it. Of course we should. The fact that you have to pay the BBC in order to watch ITV or Channel 4 as it's being broadcast is an absolute joke and it needs changing immediately how they've got away with this scam for so long it's still beyond me i still i just cannot understand how they get away with it but are they ready to go subscription i mean you've got all phones and tellies now can have the iplayer app and then you can buy a subscription it would work just like netflix wouldn't it you'd have to sign in it's already a sign in on iplayer i believe anyway isn't it so they could do it but a lot of the older people still like broadcast TV. That's why I think I like my idea. You know, I've said it many times, right, that put it behind the paywall on iPlayer, all the latest stuff and the good stuff, whatever good stuff that is. Like, say you wanted to watch EastEnders, right? If you want to watch it that night, you've got to pay for the subscription. You can watch it on iPlayer that night. If you don't want to, they need to keep, like, BBC One and their BBC News channels on the telly, but make them commercial. So you can still watch like the EastEnders Omnibus on a Sunday, but it'd be chock full of adverts. There you go. So if you don't want to pay, you can still watch the stuff just behind everybody else, but with ads on it on the telly. If you do want to pay, you can watch it as you want to watch it. That sounds right to me. I've never heard that discussed by anybody else. I've certainly never heard it discussed by any of the decision makers on this sort of thing, which who are discussing it at the minute. So I don't know. Well, let's have a quick look at this petition. Ah, this is the petition here. Abolish TV license fee and make the BBC a subscription channel. The license is more expensive. A lot of subscription. I don't know. They covered that in the paper, didn't they? Currently has 6,909 signatures and it expires on the 25th of April. I think you'll be lucky to get to 10,000. I think we'll be dreaming for it to get to 100,000. I just don't see it and even if it does get to a hundred thousand it's only may it says here look a hundred thousand signatures this petition will be considered for debate in parliament so many of these that are, there have been a few that have got over a hundred thousand signatures they never got the debate in parliament but there is one that i covered years ago years ago now it flew it got loads of signatures and it was discussed in a back room in parliament and this is what was said it is the case, Mrs Moon, that a number of people who have signed these petitions or who have emailed me are still concerned that they have to pay the licence fee. Their argument is that in an age when subscription services and streaming services are the norm, they do not see why they should have to pay for another service and they also think that the licence fee is too high. However, they make the point, and it is a fair one, that the licence fee is a regressive tax, and that cannot be got away from. There's a recent 
Ipsos Mori poll this year so showed that 49% of people are in favour of funding the BBC through the licence fee. In fact, other polls show that support for the licence fee has actually risen over time. But there is another important point about the licence fee, I think, and that is that it helps preserve BBC independence. Yeah. It protects it most of the time, at least, from political interference. And even in a time when trust in institutions is declining, it is still the most trusted news provider. When I'm watching BBC News, they are trying to get to the truth, however imperfectly. Does that sound to you like the British government are at all interested in abolishing the TV licence fee? Because it doesn't to me. They love the BBC. They protect the BBC because the BBC protect them and spread their propaganda all around the world. The petitions aren't going to work. Don't waste your time. The only way to get some action on the licence fee is to stop paying it and convince as many people as possible to stop paying it. The bigger that movement gets, the more clout we have for change and change will come. If you look at the other countries where they have had change on the licence fee, it's because public opinion really shifted and people stopped paying it. It's the only way to do it. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. And while you're down there leaving your thoughts, don't forget to hit all the buttons as well. And if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.